All right, hey guys, don't mind this mess. I just took everything that was in my bag from last week out. So, welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> my name is Alexia Nicole, and I am living my life by design. Um, so, today is, what, like my fourth week with my new airline and right is it my fourth week let me make sure i think it is i think yeah yeah so i go back to august so yeah i started base tour was august 12th one two three Four. Yeah, so this is the start of my fourth week on reserve and I have a six day block and I had home reserve today from 10 a.m. to midnight basically long home reserve shift. That's also a difference um, between here and JetBlue. JetBlue we only had 10 hour reserve shifts here. They're What's that, 14 hours of reserve? Well, there is another one, but you know, that's gonna go to more senior reserves. It's like late at night from like, I think seven to midnight or something. Um, but anyways, they just called me with a pairing or a sequence, I should say. So as of right now, all I do today is deadhead from Chicago to Cincinnati overnight and then I work Cincinnati to Dallas and then I'm just supposed to deadhead from Dallas back to Chicago. That is currently what's on my schedule but I have quickly learned that um, crew scheduling definitely takes, I'm not going to say takes advantage because at the end of the day this is our job. We are reserved flight attendants and if they need us somewhere they put us there. Um, but I don't think I have been assigned one pairing that has stayed to its originally, I keep saying pairing, sequence, um, sequence, which is just like the sequence of the trip, you know, like today you're doing this, today you're doing that, tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. like that's a sequence. Um, it has not stayed the same, like I get it assigned and then it changes on a whim or um you know like if I'm supposed to be done they they add on something else so it's just basically like like if they're already using you I feel like they call they extend you first instead of like using another reserve to do something I should have vlogged y'all don't mind me rubbing my little belly fat I'm about to get rid of this again she came back <laughs> so I've heard her go um I really should have um, vlogged last week. Um, I had another six day block last week and baby, when I tell you they worked your girl, they worked me. Except for the last day, the last day on Friday. Today is, um, today is September 1st. So on Friday, on the 30th was the sixth day of my six day block and there were no trips in open time to bid for, to prep bid for. So I ended up just getting home reserved from 10 to midnight and they didn't use me. That was the first day that I had not worked on one of my reserve days. I have been prep bidding for trips because I would rather fly, um, but there was nothing to prep bid for for today. But as you see, I'm getting used. So anyways, but yeah, I wish I would have recorded last week just because that would have been a really good eye-opening video for anybody that is thinking of going to regional or, um, you know, just seeing what regional is like. I can't specifically say that all regionals are the same, but I kind of feel like they are um, as far as just how they, the usage, how they, how much they use you, basically, <laughs> use you up. Um, so yeah, um, that's really all I got. I need to, uh, finish unpacking and repacking my bag. What I also learned last week, 
was originally I was assigned a two day kind of like I am today and I didn't end up getting back to my living quarters if this is your first video that you've been watching since um, I got back into flying just a little update we're not in a crash pad I'm staying um, with my cousin so she had a two bedroom one bedroom was free so she's letting me stay here so I didn't get back to my cousin's house until like four days later so I was only packed for a two day and that's because like I was saying they kept extending me and adding things on so I didn't really have a chance to get back here. So I'm just going to go ahead and safely pack even though I only have a two day assignment as of right now. I'm going to safely pack for at least four days. So let me stop yapping um, and go. See y'all in a bit. makeup again it's just my favorite way to, to live life nowadays um gonna hop on the bus to the train to the airport my check-in time is at 2 25 the bus should be here in like a minute or two i see it down the street here um yeah it's pretty much a really easy commute for me um, the bus stop is literally like two minutes from my cousin's house i just walk out the apartment bus a left and then walk maybe like 30 seconds to the bus stop and I ride the bus for maybe 15 20 minutes if even that and then I hop on the um, blue train for about 40 minutes and I'm there so it's, it's about an hour commute um, and it's <laughs> much more enjoyable than when I was in New York like I hated the subway um, this hasn't been so bad. So, anyways, let's go to work. Just one little deadhead flight, and then I'm there. So I probably, I should probably download uh, season three of Thirteen Reasons Why is out. Um, so I need to binge watch that. So I'm probably gonna download a few episodes and watch that on the flight to Cincinnati. But it's not that far of a flight, so I'll probably get done with like one episode. Anyways, y'all, chat. Later. All right, y'all, I am done. With my first day of reserve for my six day block at the hotel in Cincinnati. I've never had an overnight here. Um, I've been here, like, why have I been here? I don't know, but I've been in that airport before because it definitely looks familiar. Oh, you know what? I think when I went to Paris last year, I took a flight from here to Paris because that's what the best loads were. I think it was on Delta. Um, then I think I came here um, two weeks ago, but it was just a turn, so I didn't actually, but we were delayed or something was going on. But I was in Cincinnati. Uh, anyways, this is the room. Y'all wanna see it? Mm, let me show. <laughs> I don't know why I don't get excited about room tours. Couch window that's the view just street we're very close to the airport tv refrigerator check no microwave i don't even have microwavable food so that's okay um and the bathroom tub so yeah, like I was saying, um, we have a 5.30 a.m. shuttle. Ooh, they have a Keurig. Just coffee. I wish they would put teas in there. I brought my own tea though. Um, we have a 5.30 a.m. shuttle. No, 4.30. Wait, yeah, 5.30 shuttle. Means I need to set my alarm for 4.30 a.m. Right now it is 6.19 p.m. So I'm not really going to be doing much. Just put my food in the refrigerator. Let me do that now while I'm thinking about it. Um, 
put my food in the fridge and that's really about it I don't even need to unpack or open this suitcase because I'll just take this dress off oh the lighting is so bad I'm sorry y'all <sighs> my little tripod thing just broke so I don't even have my thing to post my camera up on um, but yeah, I'm not, I don't think there's any reason for me to take anything out of this suitcase because I'm going to put this uniform right back on in the morning. Um, oh, I'm lying. My toiletries are in there. I was trying to keep it real simple. Oh yeah, I definitely have to, come on Lexi, yeah, your undergarments in there. I'm just being lazy. But y'all, I went grocery shopping. Um, today is Sunday. Did I go grocery shopping yesterday? I don't know. I, we went grocery shopping, me and my cousin. Um, so I bought like little, the little pre-made salad bags. I have some already cooked, I showed y'all this fajita chicken. It was frozen, so that's good. Some little guacamole things, or really it's just whole, it's not guacamole, it's just whole avocado chunks. Um, yeah, so that's really all I brought to eat. Those two salads, I haven't been eating a lot lately. I don't know, I've been eating literally one meal a day. I don't know why, I don't have an answer to why. Um, I have my ranch dressing that doesn't really need to go in there I bought this too the other day oh did I show y'all my berries strawberries and blueberries to kind of snack on I bought this ACV and it also has come on focus it's not gonna focus um, it has turmeric and honey in here Usually I just buy the regular and it's with the mother as well. I, I still don't know what that means. Raw unfiltered with the mother. I know whenever it has the mother it does something else. One of y'all tell me what does the mother do in the apple cider vinegar. Um, but normally y'all know I, I used to just take shots of apple cider vinegar. One in the morning, one at night, or at least once a day. But this one has turmeric and honey in it. So it definitely doesn't have that sting when you take like the shot of it and yeah so this tastes way better and I'm sure it's still like really good for you prebiotic stuff and you know just gut cleansing type of whatever uh, yeah anyways that's enough information about that and I have my keto chocolates I've still been buying keto chocolates even though I haven't been real keto friendly like I should be I've still been buying those chocolates because I just like the way they taste oh my water got my Essentia I still bring my own water because I'm just not a fan of Dasani Alexia don't leave your stuff here I have been leaving stuff in hotels like crazy I left my water bottle like a nice a actual with no swell water bottles I think I just, I, ooh, bust my bag. I was gonna sell that other travel pro. Maybe now I won't because, <sighs> anyways, yeah, I'm just yapping. I ain't got nothing to talk about. I'm about to just relax. I watched season three, episode one of 13 Reasons Why on the aircraft. Now I'm about to, let me see if this is a smart TV. Um, just kind of binge watch the rest. I probably should go to the gym but nah, nah I'm sure tomorrow when I get back they'll extend me I won't just be done it's never that that good like, no it's not smart TV so I guess I'll be binge watching on my iPad see y'all in the morning oh my gosh y'all as I'm sitting here editing my um 
training vlog, the one where we were assigned our bases, I just remembered that I haven't even told y'all the good news. The good news. I got my base transferred to Dallas. Yes. So starting October, I will be a DFW based flight attendant. <laughs> and so excited, so excited, so excited. Um, when did we get that news? Um, August 22nd or 23rd? Today's September 1st. I just, y'all know I didn't vlog all last week, so I didn't really get a chance to say it, and I just forgot. So, yay for that. Hallelujah. I mean, Chicago's been nice, and I'm honestly really, really grateful for it, because I don't know if I've ever... I think I've mentioned it maybe once. Um, my dad first came here when he moved from Jamaica, so I have a lot of, you know, well, not really a lot anymore, but um, I'm staying with my cousin from my dad's side, and just staying with her, I've really gotten to learn, I guess, a little bit of my family tree from my dad's side. You know, we've just been talking, and, um, you know, my dad hasn't really, I mean, you know, whatever. So, um, from that aspect of, you know, I've been trying to find the positives about being here in Chicago. And so just being able to stay with my cousin and just talk to her and she's just explained and, you know, family treed my dad's side of the family for me. So for that, I'm very grateful. Um, I'm supposed to be going with her, um, in November to Canada, which a lot of my daddy's, my daddy has, I think two or three siblings that live in Canada and I got a whole bunch of cousins up there and stuff. Um, that I just really don't know. And I'm a really big family person. Um, my mom's side of the family is my rock. So I am really happy that I got to come here and it's kind of opened that door for me. Um, it's always been open, but you know, it's just, I mean, y'all know, like you just kind of, I don't know even how to explain it, but I'm going to go to Canada with her in November and just meet more family so Chicago has been a blessing in that way but baby let me tell you I did not want to be here for a Chicago winter not at all not at all they say Chicago winters are way worse than New York and I believe it hands down and I was freezing in New York I hated it I hated the snow I, I, I did not like it and I don't want to experience it here so come October 1st I will be a Dallas based flight attendant and the next decision from there is, do I want to um, stay in Houston or just make an official move to Dallas? That is, I guess, the next biggest life decision that I have to kind of figure out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give y'all that update. Sorry I didn't say it sooner, but you know, if you follow me on Instagram, y'all probably know anyway. Good morning, guys. What time is it? Six o'clock? Two minutes. Two minutes. 5.58. Our plane starts boarding at six. The shuttle was late this morning, 10 minutes, so we're running a little late. But that's okay. Wanna say hi to my vlog? And there was no coffee in the lobby. There was no coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. Y'all know that. Six to my tea, but <laughs> Jen needs his coffee. <laughs> Anyways, we're supposed to have this one flight. To Dallas and then deadhead back to Orlando. Or why do I keep saying Orlando? Chicago. Like I must want to be based in Orlando or something. Anyways. Alright. For flight attendant use only. Uh, interesting. They have one of the cabin seats assigned as for flight attendant use only. Captain was just saying something about the ab jump seat and the seat belt being first. So did they, uh... Oh. Okay, let's help him. Yeah. I guess it is. All the way that seat. What seat is that? 20? 23C.
it's not gonna fit right there like that but uh, oh yeah they did mark it as in up so let me just quickly show y'all what I'm referring to so the flight attendant jump seat is in up um oh right here the seat belt okay anyways so since that's happening they have me sitting here in the cabin seat that's so unnecessary though <laughs> all right y'all so service is done easy peasy it's like i almost full flight i think we have 67 people out of 74 76 on this group so yeah i'm done with service As y'all can probably tell from my background setting, I am back at my cousin's house, done for the day. So this is day two of my six day reserve block. I don't think I've vlogged since we were on the aircraft this morning. So yeah, we worked the flight to Dallas, um, deadheaded from Dallas back to Chicago. Um, and as soon as I got off that aircraft, I called crew scheduling. I checked to see if there were any trips in open time just so I could kind of get an idea. And she was like, Flight Attendant Edwards, you are released. And I was like, hallelujah. <laughs> um, I bid for three trips tomorrow. The three that were in open time, I'm probably not going to get either one of the three. Just because it's early in the month. It's only the second day of the month. Um, so nobody has hours, basically, out of the reserves. Um, and then I just bid for my preference of wrap. Wrap. Um, reserve availability period is what RAP stands for RAP so that's just my um, home reserve period you, you know they have the different shifts so I just bid for those so by six o'clock tonight I'll know what I have been assigned and I just have to call in and confirm that and then yeah and then we'll just start over again tomorrow and see if they call me so that's it for today guys i'm gonna go wash my face and just kind of chill out for a little bit all right talk to y'all later